Hi guys, in this video, we are going to learn about how to create a ATM machine program using Python with SQL connection. Okay, so first I'm starting with import my SQL connector, which means so this statement will connect your my SQL and Python. Python is your front end, my SQL is your back end. And to connect these two different softwares, we are using this MySQL dot connector. Next, I am just giving the connection by telling the local host, which means the host is local host and the username of the SQL and password for the same. Okay. Next, we are creating the database. Create database if not exist ATM machine. So my database name is ATM machine. Why am I giving this if not exist? Which means if the it, uh, if the database is already exist, it will not create it again. Once it create means it will use it for a for uh, whenever we are uh, working on this program, it will use the same database. Next, after creating the database, we have to use the database that that is what given here, and then we are creating the table records. The table name is records again we are using the same statement called which is if not exist and in the table records we are going to have account number integer as a data type and primary key so account number is our primary key which is the unique value and then password password is also integer so you can have only numbers and then name where care credit amount in integer default value is zero withdrawal that is an integer and the default value is 0. Balance amount in integer and the default value is 0. So these are all the field names we are going to have in our records table. Next, we are starting the program. Here, I'm just printing a statement like welcome to our ATM. And then I'm giving two options to create an account and to log in. And finally, the third option is exit. So first, when you run the program, it will give you two options create an account, login, and the third option is exit, and it will ask you to enter your choice. When you opt the first option, and it will take you, it will ask you to enter the four digit number as an account number. And it will add that particular account number value, whatever you are getting as an account number will be stored in this variable M, and that M will be added in the account number of our records table. And then we are executing the query. C1.execute of CB will execute your CB query. So the query saved in CB will be executed. And then fetching all the information. And then we are storing the row count. Next, data is equal to 1. Suppose if the data is already exist, the account number the user has entered is already exist, it will show the message. This account number already exists and do you want to continue? When they press yes, it will go back and it will do this work again. When they press N, which means no, it will come out of the program. Fine. So when they press yes, continue. Else, thank you. Please close the file. Before exiting, visit again. It will display the message and it will come out from the program. This is for option one, which is to create the account. That is sign up and if that is not happening, which means if that is not is, yes, enter your name, enter your password once the account is created. It will ask you to enter your name. It will ask you to enter your password. Okay. And then we are adding this account number, password, name into the table records. And then it will display the message account successfully created. And it will display the message as stating that the minimum balance is 1000 rupees. It will ask you to enter the money to be deposited. So what is the amount the user has to deposit initially? Minimum amount is 1000 rupees. Next, it will add the credit amount. Whatever the money is being uh, credited, I mean deposited by the user, that amount will be added to the credit amount field of our records table. Okay, where account number is equal to whatever the person has entered and it will update all the records and then it will uh, set the balance okay for that particular account number so it which means we are updating the records table by setting the balance credit amount minus withdrawal in case of withdrawal we should do this calculation and then it will show 
successfully deposited and thank you please close this file before exiting and visit again so these are all the steps which will happen when you try to sign up what will happen when they select the second option that is login again it will ask you yes in the case when it is coming to the else part enter your account number so when you are trying to log in first it will ask you to enter your account number and you are checking whether the account number is available in the records table or not so that is why we have given this particular query and if that is correct it will ask you to enter the password the account number should match the account number entered by the user should match the account number which is available in our records table next it will ask you to enter your password then the password will be checked in the records table again where the account number so for that particular account number it will check the password if both are correct then it will display the message successfully logged in and then it will give you four options first option is depositing money second option is withdrawing money third option is transferring money fourth option is checking balance so usually these are all the things we used to do in the atm machine now it will ask you to enter your choice when they ask they, when they press the first option, when they select the first option, it will ask you to enter the money to be deposited. The amount you have to type manually. And once the amount is entered, it that will be added in the cre credit amount field. And then credit amount plus the amount which is being added now. So the old amount plus the new amount for the account number which is entered by the user. And then we are setting the balance also. Fine. Fine. And then it will print the message successfully deposited and it will ask you to whether you are continuing or not. When you press Y, it will go continue. Then it will press all these, it will display all these messages once again. Otherwise, it, when they press no, it will display the message. Thank you. Please close this file before exiting. And when they select the second option, our second option is withdrawing the money. So when they press number two, the second option, it will ask enter the money to withdraw the amount they wanted to withdraw they have to enter that amount and then we have to check the balance if the balance is higher than the enter amount it will do the work which means it will update the set record and it will display the amount please collect the amount if not it will display the amount it will display the message you are having less than the amount given amount please try again so when the person is trying to withdraw the money which is lesser than their account value it will display the message you are not eligible which means you are having lesser than this uh, given amount so please try again if not it will just update the balance and then it will display the message please collect the amount again after completing it will ask you whether you are continuing or not yes means it will go back to the four options no means it will print thank you please close this file so this is second part the second option to withdraw the money next third option third option is to transfer the money so enter the account number to be transferred it you have to enter the number which is has to be transferred account number and in this case that particular account number is also should be available in our table records table so it will it is checking here whether the entered number is available in the table or not if so if the number is available it will print as number exists and then it will ask you to enter the money to be transferred and then it will check whether that particular amount is available in your account or not if not it will display you have less than the given amount and please try again if you have the enough amount it will update the balance field of your records table and then it will check this withdrawal amount and then credit amount all these records will be up updated and it will say the amount is successfully transferred and again it will display the message you want to continue or not yes in the case it will go back and display the four options no in the case it will display thank you please close the file before exiting and what about the last option option four it is used to display your balance okay so so far whatever things we have done like when we are depositing when we are withdrawing when you are transferring the amount you could see the balance field is being automatically updated so in that case it will select balance from the records table for that particular account number and it will display that particular amount and again it will ask yes or no yes in the case it will display the four options when they press no 
it will select it will display thank you please close this file before exiting and these are all the options when they select when when their account number and password is correct when they enter a wrong password it will show you the it is a wrong password the guy it will ask you whether you are continuing and when they select this option it will go to the first one sign up and login and if the given account number is not present in our data it will show your account does not exist okay and finally when they select the exit option the first one when they select this exit option it will display the message exiting please go close this file before exiting so this is what our program do now let me run this program and show you a sample output so i am just running the program by pressing f5 so now it is asking me to enter your choice i'm pressing 1 so now it is asking me to create the account number so i'm just giving four digit account number 1010 now enter your name so i'm just typing fish info tech now password so i'm just giving 1234 is my password now it is displaying account successfully created minimum balance is 1000 rupees and it is asking me to enter the money to be deposited so i'm just typing 1000 successfully deposited thank you so first account has been created now i'm going back running my program now i'm selecting the second option login it is asking me to enter the account number so my account number is 1010 now password password is 1234 now it is giving me four options what are the options depositing withdrawing transferring checking balance let us do this one by one depositing money so enter the money to be deposited i'm just giving 5000 it's fully deposited do you want to continue i'm giving yes why again account number password now the second option i'm selecting it is showing successfully deposited and the second option i'm selecting withdrawing money enter the money to withdraw i'm typing 500 so please collect the amount and then the amount i'm just clicking yes to continue account number my password but each and every time you have to enter your account number and password okay so now the third option transferring money so account number to be transferred i'm just typing 9464 this account number i have already created for the same database so it won't show error so it says number exists so enter the money to be transferred i'm just giving 5000 now successfully transferred do you want to continue yes now account number 1010 a password 1234 now i'm just doing checking balance so first i have added 1000 rupees and then i have deposited 5000 rupees so total it was six thousand and then i did i did withdrawing for 500 so that time the value will be 5500 and then i have transferred 5000 my account balance should be 500 now yes so this is how our program works the atm program using python and sql is being done in this way hope you like this program and um, if you need a soft copy of this uh, you can even check my website the link is there in the description we'll see you in the next video thank you happy learning